European Union, a recipient of the Shani World Leadership Award for Peace and a laureate of Shani World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Unconditional World Care, generously supports Sudan. The EU has pledged to grant totaling 341 million euros to assist Sudan's economy during its governmental transitional period. In addition, the bloc has confirmed two donations equaling 125 million euros for humanitarian assistance. Sudan's pro-democracy movement and the governing transitional military council signed a historic power sharing agreement in August 2019 to enhance peace and stability in the nation. You are an epitome of kindness and heaven bless you, European Union. In the divine's ever caring guidance, may amicable Sudan always flourish in a spirit of harmony and unity. Qatar Red Crescent Society, QRCS, a Shining World Compassion Award laureate, supports education in Afghanistan. QRCS representation mission has initiated the second phase of a project to assist education in the remote regions of Gore and Aruzgan provinces in Afghanistan. In partnership with the Afghan Welfare Society, nine schools were set up to benefit 1,800 students Students. Through the $320,000 US dollars in funding, 70 tent classrooms and 900 double desks, as well as basic curriculum books, school bags, and teaching aids, among others, will be provided. We gladly commend your forward-thinking project and Allah bless you. Qatar Red Crescent Society and Afghan Welfare Society, may all the dedicated children of Afghanistan enjoy a prosperous future of joy and ample opportunities in heaven's light. Global Renewable Power Projected to Soar A report by the International Energy Agency forecasts a growth of 50% by 2024 of the world's total renewable power capacity. The solar energy sector accounts for approximately 60% of the rise. This is due to the falling prices of solar, government policies, and the public's concern over the environment. Renewable energy, also including wind and hydropower, will increase from 26% of the world's power generation in 2019 to 30% in 2024. Thank you for your informative study, International Energy Agency. In celestial radiance, may all governments and citizens take urgent green steps, starting with the Earth-saving vegan diet, so we may preserve our cherished planet. California, a laureate of Shining World Leadership Awards for Protection and Compassion, becomes the first U.S. state to ban plastic bottles in hotels. The governor of California, United States, the Honorable Gavin Newsom signed legislation prohibiting hotels in the state from offering their customers personal care products in small plastic bottles that contain less than six ounces of substances, such as soap, shampoo, or conditioner. Hotels with 50 rooms or more will have to comply with the law starting January 2023, whereas smaller hotels will have until 2024. There will be a 500 US dollar fine initially for not adhering to the new ruling and a 2000 US dollar penalty for subsequent infractions. Governor Newsom is a Shining World Leadership Award for Loving Care Laureate. Many thanks, the Honorable Gavin Newsom and California, for this wise legislation. May other states enact similar laws as we increasingly become more active stewards of our treasured planet in the grace of the providence. Indian non-governmental organization wins prestigious United Nations Development Program UNDP Award, honoring its extraordinary efforts toward assisting disadvantaged women farmers in climate-smart agricultural practices. Deccan Development Society, DDS of Telangana State, India, was recognized with the Equator Prize 2019 by the UNDP. For the past 30 years, DDS has empowered over 2,700 women to reclaim their farmlands and supported more than 5,000 female agricultural workers in practices such as developing their own seed banks and adopting millet-based farming. Chiu Kapali Ansuyama, Senior Supervisor of DDS, 
accepted the award on behalf of the non-governmental organization. She has mobilized thousands of women to plant an estimated 2 million trees across 22 villages, creating 24 neighborhood forests that also grow fruits and medicinal plants. Heaven's Boundless Blessings, Deccan Development Society, Chiu Kapali and Suyama, and all involved in this noble work. May we always advocate eco-protective initiatives, embracing an era of equality and sustainability in divine upliftment. Supreme Master Ching Hai thankfully present Deccan Development Society the Shining World Protection Award plus 20,000 US dollars to furtherance their caring project in divine love. May God shower you with abundant blessing and protect the vulnerables of India. More vegan meat options available in Canada United Kingdom headquartered The Meatless Farm Company has introduced its 100% vegan burger and ground beef products in British Columbia, New Finland, and Ontario with plans to soon be available in all Canadian provinces in partnership with Canadian distributor Dolan Foods. The vegan, protein-rich, and GMO-free items have reached over 350 grocery, specialty, and other stores. Founder of the Meatless Farm Company, Morton Toftbeck, said, We believe that swapping to plant-based products should be simple and shouldn't require individuals to compromise on taste or texture. Earlier, the company launched its range in Europe, the United Arab Emirates, and the United States. Such happy news, Meatless Farm Company, wishing you much success in bringing your delicious vegan delicacies to shelves worldwide, in God's goodness. First Lady of Finland receives Animal Rights Award. Finland's First Lady, Henny Haukio, has been honored with the Thank You from the Animals Award by the Finnish Animal Protection Association for her courageous animal advocacy work. Truth. Public speaking and writing, the First Lady has addressed various issues involving safeguarding animals, including livestock production, fur farming, and the necessary reforms in the National Animal Welfare Act. Talking about farmed animals, Ms. Haukio said, Each one of them would have wanted to live. If the consumption is reduced, the production will be reduced. Our loving salute and congratulations, First Lady Henny Haukio. God bless you. May your vital message of extending compassion toward all our gracious co-inhabitants spread throughout elevated Finland and beyond in heaven's benevolence.